Hey everybody, Dr. O here, and welcome to this little video on the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So let's get started. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system comes into play when the blood pressure drops. It's one of the systems that the body's going to utilize to create blood pressure homeostasis. So how does it work? Well, when blood pressure drops, the kidneys have a way of detecting this. And in response to the drop in blood pressure, the kidneys begin releasing an enzyme, which is sometimes called a hormone, called renin. And renin is going to enter into the bloodstream where its target is a specific molecule that's always in circulation. So what's that molecule? bloodstream and renin is in circulation and the target molecule that renin is seeking is called angiotensinogen. Now angiotensinogen is a molecule that we can think of as a molecule that's almost ready to go. A molecule that will eventually have biological effect but it needs to be altered a little bit to to exert that effect. So angiotensinogen is in circulation in its active form. And this is our target here with renin. Now when renin meets up with angiotensinogen, it basically snips off that OGEN ending and it's going to turn this molecule into angiotensin 1. Now angiotensin 1 is closer to being biologically active, but it's not quite there yet. It still needs a little bit more work to be done. So where's it going to go for that? Over in the lungs, there is a membrane-bound enzyme that will make the final alterations to angiotensin 1 and convert it into its biologically active form. So as the blood with angiotensin 1 circulates past this enzyme, the enzyme will convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. And now angiotensin 2 can exert its effects. So what exactly does angiotensin 2 do? Now, one of the targets for angiotensin II is going to be the adrenal cortex. So, when angiotensin II shows up at the adrenal cortex, it's going to trigger the release of a hormone known as aldosterone. And aldosterone is going to work on the kidneys, and it's going to cause the kidneys to move sodium out of the filtrate, that is, out of the fluid that will ultimately become urine, and it's going to return that sodium to the bloodstream. Now, one of the rules that Mother Nature has created in the body is that wherever sodium goes, water follows. So, as sodium is moved out of the kidneys and into the, into the bloodstream, water will also move out of the kidneys and into the bloodstream. And this water is going to add to blood volume. And the increased blood volume means that we're going to have an increase in blood pressure. And this is one way that the renin angiotensin aldosterone system works to maintain blood pressure homeostasis. But wait, there's more. In addition to increasing blood volume to increase blood pressure, angiotensin II will cause the arteries to vasoconstrict. And vascular constriction increases peripheral resistance, which also increases blood pressure and the circulatory system. So this system works in two ways. Uh, it directly increases blood volume by recovering fluid from the kidneys and it causes vasoconstriction, which increases resistance, which also drives up blood pressure. And with that, we are done. Thanks for watching.